On number three, you have a right pyramid that has a square base. So that would be a square pyramid. So the base is ABCD and segment EF from the apex to the midpoint of this side and creating that perpendicular relationship would be the slant height. It wants to know which one of these statements is not true. The first statement says that EA and EC are congruent segments. Well, EA is from the apex to one of the vertices of the square base. And since EC is also from the apex to a vertex of the square base, those would be the same length. All of those um, segments going from the apex to each one of the vertices would be congruent to each other. So that is true, and we're looking for what's not true. On part B, it says segment EB, which is from the apex to a vertex, is congruent to EF. EF is our slant height. So the slant height and EB cannot have the same um, length because the slant height is um, the perpendicular side of this triangle EFB, if you look at this triangle here. Okay, so you know EF is perpendicular to that side, so you have a right angle there. And so EB would be the hypotenuse of that side. So we know that EA, or I'm sorry, EB, it would be B, EB and EF cannot be the same length because the hypotenuse is always the longest side of a right triangle. So this is not true. So that's our answer to the problem, but let's look at the other two choices. Triangle AEB, AEB is this face on this side, this triangle, and BEC, BEC is the triangle on this side, the right side. Since each one of these um, from the apex to the vertices are the same length, and this is a square, so these sides are the same length, those are congruent triangles to each other. And all of the triangular faces are going to be isosceles because from the apex to each one of the vertices are going to be congruent to each other. So these are both true, meaning B is our false statement.